Sports Center, ESPN just put out their NFL power rankings. Oh. Mm. I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely disgusted. I could barely get a Colts highlight on that get-up show. Mm-hmm. Could barely get it in. They gave me one. Thank you so much. But let's talk about Flacco afterwards. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Let's talk about the Colts winning the Super Bowl. I, pre- I understand. You know, we're just a city here in the middle of America. Yeah. Who cares, right? Our once-in-generation quarterback retired. But even better story, by the way. Makes it an even better mm-hmm. story with the way they've been winning. Got a tough one this weekend. Can't crack the top 10. Jeez. Number one, New England Patriots. Makes sense. Sure. Kyle Van Noy joining us in 25 minutes. We'll ask him why that is happening. How did they get better by losing Gronkowski to television? How? How? Nobody knows. Bill Belichick wins 300 games. Now he's saying, you know what? Yeah, I used to say I want to retire at 70, but I'm 67 now. And we're just still dominating people. I Honestly, I thought by 70, somebody would figure us out, but that just hasn't happened. <laughs> so how about 80? That's what Bill Belichick basically said. Number two, San Francisco 49ers. I appreciate it. I respect it. Mm-hmm. Undefeated. That defense is demoralizing. Mm-hmm. Very good. I said on Get Up that I don't want to crown them as the best in the NFC yet because they haven't really played anybody, which, by the way, true statement what I just said. Second easiest schedule in the NFC. That's not me saying that. Okay, that's 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 people that have big brains and do the math saying that cold, hard facts. Number one and two, both one and two on that have not played anyone, by the way. Also a fact right there, which a Niners fan told me I didn't bring up when I mentioned that. I was like, well, we're talking about the NFC. We're not talking about the AFC. What do you want me to do? Just completely railroad Mike Greenberg's (laughs) show? (laughs) I can't do that. But they're both undefeated. The reason why you don't say that about the Patriots, though, about their schedule, you don't hear it often because the Patriots have already proven that they're good, right? Mm -hmm. This Niners team is coming out of nowhere with Mm -hmm. a brand new quarterback. I mean, last year he was there, but he was hurt. A brand new team. I mean, this is something like, are they for real or not? We're going to find out. I like that they're undefeated, though, for the people of San Francisco. Not a bad city. No, kind of a great city, actually. Yeah, I think we had a good time. We're in Chinatown down there. Mm -hmm. Had a good time. Saw Scientology building. Oh. oh. Ty, Ty wouldn't let me walk in. Yeah, no. steer clear. Yeah. Ty's exact words were? You go in there, they will have their hooks in you for life. You never come out. That's He scared the hell out of me. And then a Scientologist was right next to us. And that guy, I thought he was going to kill Ty. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He was eyeing me down. Number three, New Orleans Saints. I like it. They got Drew Brees back. Yeah. And Drew looks like he hasn't skipped a beat. Who that? In- interesting to find. Who that? Who that? Who that, Who that? Who that say they all beat the Saints? Who that? I like that. Who that? I like Who that? But uh, people are saying Taylor Bridgewater is not on the trade block. Correct. Makes sense. Which, I mean, the only way, the only way he's not is if you think Drew potentially gets hurt right. and you think you're still a Super Bowl team with Teddy at the well, And I guess we got to give Drew credit. He's been pretty healthy. I mean, he's yeah, played yeah. a lot. Yeah. He mm-hmm. has like that Brett Favre, mm-hmm. Peyton Manning feel to him. Even though early in his career, nobody would have said that because he got ran out of town because of his shoulder in yeah. San Diego or whatever. Good for Philip Rivers, who might be coming to an end, by the way. Uh, God rest Philip Rivers. Good man. His career mm-hmm. was incredible. Um, but Drew's been very healthy. So I think just because his thumb got messed up on a helmet, it would be difficult. I don't know. His contract, too. He's going to be a free agent. Yeah, so they Teddy? both are. Drew. Really? They both are. What are they going to do? Oh, that's interesting. You trade him away. You don't even have to make that decision, Correct. by the way. Mm-hmm. Which does happen. General managers do get rid of like decision problems. Like, uh, I don't have to decide. Let's just get him out of here. <laughs> good for him. Good for us. But I don't know how the Saints operate. They're a great team. Green Bay Packers, number four. I don't like this. Number three in the NFC, they're saying. I don't love that. I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. No. Nope. I think they're going to go to the Super Bowl. Right. <laughs> Jeez. Four win. Well, Ty thinks they're going to win. He's an owner of the team. Kansas City Chiefs, number five. I don't know how I feel about it. That's like a preseason thing. Yeah. That's like, hey, you were ranked number one preseason. That's like college football. Yeah. This is like a college football type thing. Like, well, yeah, they were. We thought they were going to be great, though. You know, uh, they lost them. Yeah, but you know, I thought they were going to be good. So we got to kind of stick with it here a little bit. Or we look like a bunch of dummies from the beginning of the year. That's what that is mm-hmm. right now. I mean, to have them above the Baltimore Ravens, number six. That's interesting to me. Number seven, Seattle Seahawks. Good for Russell Wilson. Number eight, Minnesota Vikings. None of this happens, by the way, if it's not for the kumbaya that Mm -hmm. happens after the $200,000 fine and the Adam Thielen and the Kirk Cousins show. Mm -hmm. Good for Minnesota figuring it out. Houston Texans, number nine. I mean, what are we doing here? Yeah, how's that happen? That's interesting. I mean, what are we? Well, yeah, considering they're obviously putting them in front of the Colts. Well, that's what I mean. This whole entire list is in front of the Colts, which I don't like personally. They got to be 10, right? 
10, Los Angeles Rams. Oh. Colts can't even crack the top 10. <laughs> Los Angeles Come Rams. On. I don't even know they're still playing football over there right now. Granted, they're probably doing well, and they're probably heating back up and playing football good again. Uh, but, I mean, what are we doing? Just the disrespect for the Indianapolis Colts is next level. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. But the NFL right now, we're halfway through this thing. We got a good second half of football coming up. 